what's your first name? I'm sorry. I'm Mary. Mary. I'm Mary. Mary. Mary just walked off while <laughs> we're over line. here assembling the coop. This is why I love chicken coops and chicken people. So, have you ever had chickens before you had your chick coop? Okay, so we, our first, we got chicks and I bought, again, what I shouldn't have done, but we didn't know if we were going to be chicken people or not. I got the cheap coop, just a little tractor supply coop. And I learned within the first few months that we loved chickens and we could not live with a tractor, you know, whatever, those little, those little cheapy coops. So, I googled y'all somehow i don't know if it popped up on one of the chicken blogs that i was following and i saw y'all and i started researching and that's how i found you and then i found you on youtube and i was watching you through the construction process and i will tell you something else when i called up there and i was ordering it I, the best customer service great customer service because i tweaked a few things and i added the water bar the water bar is a game changer which you couldn't do on the cheap you know, That's right. starter That's right. basically coop. So I really research what's going to make keeping chickens easier, you know, and just, so the, I added the coop, um, the I changed the door, I added the you, water. You started talking about the deep litter system. And then the deep litter system, that's the other thing about the, the first coop we had, you couldn't keep it clean, you know, and you just felt like they didn't have a proper roosting area. So now I buy the, the shavings that you suggest. Yeah, the industrial it, hemp. Yep, yeah, the hemp. And so we do the hemp, and I do it about once a year. And it's composting, and it's gonna be good. Are you busy now? No, I just- Do you wanna go over there? Yes. <laughs> Mary came over, said, hey, what's going on? Started talking, and she's been so nice to let us come over. And she's saying all the things that I try to bring to you guys all the time. I'm not paying her to say this. We film this because I want you guys to hear the truth. Yeah. Okay. I started building chicken coops because there's no good coops out there. You have to understand chickens want a big coop and they want a lot of space. You've got to let the chickens work, encourage their instincts. So Mary, if you could real quick recap on some of the things you said earlier about the mistakes that you yeah. made or what did you learn from this process? So when we first got our day old chicks, we just went and bought the least expensive you know, tractor supply chicken coop. And it was a good starter for mm -hmm. us, but it was very um, labor intensive and not enjoyable keeping our chickens. It was hard to keep it clean. There wasn't a, there were no nesting boxes that came in it. So they're, they were just in a, essentially a roosting, very small roosting area. And they didn't have that separate space to roost versus the run. Mm -hmm. Or what was there was very small. So, and I quickly learned too, even in the South, it gets cold here. And I was wrapping it and trying to insulate it, and it was it was not very functional. Mm -hmm. So I researched y'all. I came across you, I guess, on a blog somewhere. Cool. Um, Thank you, whoever you are. I blogger. know. I know. Blogger or vlogger? Or maybe I just Googled. I, I can't remember how I came across you, and I started following you, and I was watching. I loved the folding uh, windows mm -hmm. that you could open up to mm -hmm. ventilate. You could close off with that plexiglass mm -hmm. um, covering to keep them dry when it's we get bad storms here mm -hmm. and keep them warm. So I loved that functionality. I loved the space underneath. I was so excited to get the water bar. Mm -hmm. Now I did not not get the gutter system just because we get collect enough. I also have a hose that I can just pop in. No, that's perfect. So that worked out well, but this is probably one of my favorite, favorite add-ons. Nice. Because um, it's pretty much set and forget it. Exactly. And even last year when it froze here, it got down to like 15 degrees and the whole water barrel froze um, and I didn't have the heater. So I probably need to get that. That just never happens here. But we replaced the little uh, pump part and it was good to yeah, go. Yeah, drop your de-icer down in there yeah. and then plug that in. It's a set and forget it yes, system. Yes, I think I did actually order it after that happened. Awesome, <laughs> you, it won't freeze For this anymore. Winter, I wanna tell you something else. We poured a six by 12 concrete footing around to prevent predators and I learned that from you too. Cause we really vacillated a lot on how to set it down. And you said, don't put you know, you, they need the dirt. You like don't put it on a concrete pad. That's right. So we just did the poured the footings around, and it was perfect. And yep. it was a great investment on the front end yes. for the coop to sit level. Yes. Now you're you, done. Sorry. <laughs> you did such a good job. Honestly, when when um, the customer that we're doing right now, 
told us, yeah, you got to cooperate right over there. And I came over and looked at it. I thought we did this because your builders did such a good job. Well, it took now, them a long time. Yes. And it, it was very expensive. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> well, actually, you mentioned that. I think it would have been a better deal to just do the turnkey, paint it in your um, shop, and install it here. And, oh, and I love the, the hardware cloth. This mm -hmm. is great, too. Yeah. This, we've had this coop now, how long? I mean, I think we put it in during COVID. No, nothing has gotten into it. Thank Not you. one thing. No snakes. I mean, it has been... I haven't seen anything able to dig. It's been gr so secure. I don't worry about them when they're in the coop. That's the only time I don't worry. Awesome. Yes. Um, now, I like what you got going on here. Do they ever use it? Yes, they'll sit up here and roost yep. some. So what I love that you're doing is when they're roosting during the daytime, it's, this is not higher than your roost bars inside. If this was higher than your roost bars inside, they would never go inside your hen house. Okay. Chickens always want to go to the highest point to roost at night. So keep that in mind. Okay. Um, everything else looks good. You got your feeder underneath the hen house. You got yeah. some grain. You got yeah. some pellets. Okay. Um, no, this actually looks really, really good. This looks so good. Now, how old? Okay, hold on. Again, four by six sign house. I love your painted roofs. Bruce bars. <laughs> okay. Um, They're four by six sign house. You got five chickens in here? Yes. When's the last time you cleaned this? I'm embarrassed to say I don't think no I, I love what I, you're about to say I, I mean I think I did a light like a little bit of a light scrape which I didn't even have to do when it was really hot in the summer it was it was a little bit stinkier than usual and so I did a little light scrape threw it over you haven't cleaned uh, it it's, out. I haven't that's, what, that, that's no that's good that's, because that's, I kept that's, looking I was like that's should, what I'm I, talking about. should I add more like I've really wrestled Not, with it but okay it, I know it's gonna keep help put some heat out yeah don't worry about the heat don't worry about the heat i know we talk a lot about that in the south southerners get obsessed with the heat chickens um don't do well in the heat yeah. here's the benefit but it's good this, in the winter this will yes yeah, so, well this will help stabilize a little bit with the temperature in the hen house what i can tell you you do not need to worry about it at all down here in the south and technically speaking you're in an anaerobic state of composting where okay. it really won't get hot when you do uh, go to eventually clean this out and put it down in the ground and you build it up a little bit taller, certain microbes will start to generate heat. Okay. Uh, but this so far is actually perfect. And I love, I had a feeling you haven't cleaned it out yet because you don't need to. Isn't well, that can't wonderful? Think, do I need to add another yes, layer? Yes, that's all you do. So here, um, folks, now all you got to do is hit that subscribe button and you're going to be able to smell or not smell inside this house. I'm kidding. Can you imagine? <laughs> Maybe one day. Um, as, this is where I wish we had scratch and sniff video. And you can see, yes, there's a couple flies in here, and flies are not going to lie to you. They're going to tell you yet, okay, I'm smelling something in here. I can smell it. smells a little chicken coop eat. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. all you do is throw a two, three, four inches of hemp right on top of this. And do you have any hemp now? I think I do up in the shed. Okay, if you were look. to go grab that, what you would be amazed by is you throw it on there, the ammonia smell comes to a zero, oh, and the goodness. flies disappear because they I don't smell it. should have done that over the summer. Yep, that's all you do is add layers. That's the secret to composting. Keep, and keeps the smell down a little bit. Because it's, it's, it's only it when It eliminates the smell. Because when it gets humid here is when when you smell it. It eliminates the uh, smell. I should have done all, that. It's all about layers. Um, it's literally a set it, forget it system. You can even take some soil, okay, yeah. and then throw that in here to help keep introducing microbes. But other than that, no, that's the beauty of the deep litter system. Can you yeah. imagine having to clean I this mean, out once a week? When I saw this, the... the High like, density polyethylene? On the, uh, lining it, uh, it was like a dream come true. And then this, this folds the down. Door. Yep. And so I just thought, this makes it easy. That's it's right. like, fix it and forget it. That's right. Don't yeah. waste that. Keep it in there. Add a layer. This will go away immediately. Make some Let curtains. Them. Okay. Cut little strips. Nothing crazy. You can go on all kinds of forums and web. Yeah. yeah, you just attach it right there. And and they can just kind of move through. And that's right. And their way through. It'll actually encourage them to want to go in there even more. Okay. <laughs> Thank um, other you. Other than that, this looks so good. I love you got your outlet up here. Okay, if you now, I will say, this is a big debate I in the know, chicken world. I know a really where this is big going. debate. And one of the people I follow, she lives in Maine, and she's like, never heat the coop. <laughs> That's right. That is our dear friend, Lisa Steele from and Fresh I love Eggs Daily. Her. I do. She's the best. But when, I know. I just, just a few nights when it gets no. really cold. No. And I just. You're making it worse. <laughs> so this. I was so, it was, it was so cold last Christmas, and we left to go skiing. And it was colder here in Birmingham than it was in Colorado. And I was like, 
I just no. got to. No, chickens, okay. especially yours. I know. They're covered in a down okay. comforter. They do well in cold temperatures. It's a wind chill. Close your windows. Yeah. They are good to go. They actually prefer it. Here's what happens when you put a heat lamp. I'm assuming a heat lamp, yeah. maybe a ceramic heater. Yeah. Um, when you warm it up in here, they want to go down in that run and start working. That drastic temperature change actually shocks them and can cause more stress. Okay. Also, with it warmer in here, they're getting moisture on them. And when they go out yeah. into the cold temperatures, you're going to increase your chances of frostbite. That's right. The I secret know, to man. chickens is big coop, big space. The other one is consistency. Okay. You, want, you don't want rapid changes for chickens. Should I put some straw on the bottom of the... I'm so glad you said that. Should you? No. Do you need to? No. But I want you to. I know. I Here's know. why. We just started selling a straw that is chopped up and split open. Okay. I wouldn't recommend putting full stalks of straw down there like a regular straw bale. What we sell is a coarse material designed for the run areas of animal pens. I was a huge skeptic in the beginning. I said, no, no, no. You don't need anything in there. Why work more than you have to? I have fallen in love with this stuff. Okay. Throw it down in there and your chickens will love it. And you're going to start trapping what you want. Listen, don't freak out right now. You want to trap bugs. Yes. You want to trap moisture. Look at the forest, okay? Yes. Look at the leaves, all the organics falling down. That's what you want inside your yes. run. So by adding your carbon, um, in this case, the, the, the healthy straw, your table scraps, you ever come out with table yes, scraps, yes. coffee grounds, Sometimes yogurt? Sometimes I'll put some leaves when we blow leaves. Yeah. Oh my God, they love pile. leaves. We'll put leaves in there in the fall. Yeah, that's what you want. Make the forest floor in there. Don't overthink it. Right. That's people cause more problems with their chickens when they overthink it, overdo it. Trust yeah. me, we have worked so hard to build a coop, so it's literally a set it, forget it system. <laughs> Just do the deep litter, buy the straw, put it in the run. You almost feel guilty at seven. Yeah, the water bar with the rain barrel is amazing. Make sure they have food and you're done.